Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, the long-awaited iTrust video. Uh, we've been talking about making it for a couple weeks because we had some trusses we really needed to build. And today we're going to start working on them. Um, got everything gathered up, ready to go. We don't have all the materials here, but I've got a trailer load of them. It does take quite a bit of material to make as much eye truss as we're about to make. A um, couple things for all the armchair engineers who pop up on every video to tell us it's never going to work, you don't know what you're doing, you're doing it wrong, I don't like the shirt you're wearing when you're doing it, all those things. Two things. Uh, one, your concerns have been preemptively and duly noted. And two, I'm going to do it anyway. Let's get into it. We had hoped to get five of these done tonight, um, but with figuring out what the hell we were doing and building this jig, uh, we only got one. We could have done some more, but unlike a lot of off-gridders, we still have full-time jobs, so we got to get inside and get to bed, but this is the first iJoist or iTrust, whichever you want to call it. Uh, we built this jig slash clamp to put them in. Um, it's got three inch screws holding the top down. I actually built it with some space so that as you tighten the screws, it clamps down on it. So we're going to take it out of the jig tomorrow after the glue dries and see what we got. We're still going to put patch plates where the joints in the two by fours are. Um, 
just for extra strength. I think we probably need to, and even if we don't, it's not an expensive thing to throw some two buys in there and stiffen up the joints a little bit. But that's what it looks like. All right, guys, so uh, Steve is working. I am going to kind of spread a little more glue on the joints um, from the first one that we did last night. The glue is still a little wet. Um, we did check it out, but I'm going to go ahead and try and assemble several more um, while he's getting his work day started. So we are not out here super late every night. Putting the last brace on the last truss. Pretty excited about it. It's like uh, 9.30 on Thursday night. We gotta haul these things to East Texas tomorrow after work. This is the last shot. And we made it. We have been working 15 hours a day, every day this week, getting these ready to go east. But it's good. So we're gonna have a roof. Only one more night you have to listen to me playing 80s music. Yes. <laughs> the easy 80s does not make the best motivational hard work music. Listen, some of it's not bad. But yeah, I think these would be good and helpful for sure. Because it's a really smart idea for you to tell us to do this. Now, we just need to get them to East Texas <laughs> um, and load them up on the trailer. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little excited that I'll be working one year. Maybe some of the guys are going to try and stack them. <laughs> We've adapted the design on these several times. Uh, what we ended up with that you just saw Britt installing was vertical braces that attach the top plate to the bottom plate. Uh, which basically makes it, it doesn't really do anything once it's installed, but it makes it where we can pick them up and throw them on the trailer as soon as they're glued together. We did start out with a clamp type of thing um, where we were building them four at a time, but we were running out of time and we needed to be able to build more than four a day. So um, I came up with the idea to use some of our scrap wood as those verticals that screw to the top plate and the bottom plate, and it made a world of difference. We've made, I think, 11 today. So, um, yeah, that did the trick. As I said, we're working on the last one right now. And Brits, Brits putting the glue in it as we speak. I have so much glue on me. It's not even funny. There's wood glue everywhere. I just had to make an emergency run to Home Depot like five minutes before they closed to get our sixth gallon of wood glue. Now there's at least a gallon on the concrete out here. Um, where we're building these is the patio by the uh, little above ground pool we've got. And uh, just because we've got a big slab of concrete and light power back here, um, and we can build them without being in the way of the automotive shop in the front yard. So um, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to pressure wash this concrete when we're done. And uh, she's gonna need a hand, so. Make sure you like and subscribe, turn on notifications. Check the uh, description if you wanna see more of Brit. Uh, she does have her own website. So uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Um, we're gonna be putting these trusses up, so you'll get to see a video on that next week, hopefully on Tuesday like usual. So until then, have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye.